Hello my friend! Today I'll show you how to make secret wood pendants without resin or workshop tools. We're also reusing popsicle sticks, so stick around if you'd like to learn how. The first step is very hard, but you can do it. Eat popsicles. What? It's for the project! Any kind of popsicle stick or even wooden spoons will work. Break the stick with your hands or with the help of pliers. If you want a clean cut on one side, use a craft knife and score the wood until it cuts all the way through. Later. <laughs> <coughs> Next, use a file or sandpaper if you want a nicer finish. You can make the wood look better with any paint that you have lying around. Especially a pop of color at the breaking points looks cool. I should have done this before I painted it, but you can poke a hole with a map tag at this stage. To be honest, it's hard to do without splitting the wood, so I'll show you another option later on. Now it's time for the hot glue, and as you can see, you can use pretty much any glue stick as long as it has a little transparency. For the most transparent finish, I recommend finding shiny silicone, but you can also use baking paper or matte silicone for a matte finish. Take your glue gun and squeeze out some glue. Then press your wooden piece into it, cover it with more glue. And Chewy here is gonna help me press it flat. <laughs> Once it has cooled down, you can peel off the glue and use sharp scissors to cut the pendant into shape. Straight lines are easier to cut than curves. I made my own jump ring using wire, like this. Like I said, you can use baking paper or matte silicone too, which will give you a matte finish. You can poke a hole in the glue instead of poking the wood. Just don't try to make the hole wider like I did. It doesn't work. Just get the needle through the glue once or twice. If you have glow-in-the-dark glue sticks, you can make cool glowing pendants. But you could use glow-in-the-dark paint or nail polish as well. Lastly, I'll show you how to color the glue. Method 1 is using permanent markers. We need to seal that in, so I'm using clear nail polish and an old nail polish brush to blend everything. Afterwards, I clean the brush with nail polish remover. Method 2 is using non-permanent markers or fine liners. Get some ink onto the pendant and use glue to spread it around. I hope some of this information will stick with you. And here are some more hot glue ideas for you. Bye!